what's up you guys if you click on this video then you guys are interested in watching me apply my makeup and see what i think about the new less toxic beauty products that i've purchased okay so i'm just gonna start doing my makeup <music> because I do not have the time or patience to do my hair today. I will say for the Maybelline Superstay Foundation, I like it. It looks pretty good. I think it's pretty similar actually to the liquid one, but I do need a better primer because I can see all my pores. I'm gonna try to zoom it in for you guys, but I can see like all my pores and a lot of dryness like on the bottom of my face which i do tend to be dry here so it just it kind of exaggerates it but i think that has more to do with the moisturizer and the primer i used so the primer i used was the milk makeup and honestly i don't know how non-toxic this is or just used it because i figured it's one of the less toxic ones but really i have no idea <laughs> for lips i'm just gonna go in with this color pop ultra satin lip in screenshot so i realized when i was going to the ewg website last night i was looking for liquid lipsticks because i don't like regular lipsticks and the ColourPop liquid lipsticks a lot of them were rated like one or two i think and i had some already so i'm just gonna use these i don't really care for this applicator or the feel of this lipstick to be honest nonetheless this is the look i created so the new products that i used were i use this a lot and i still feel like my face is dry probably need to drink more water though I use the Super Stay foundation stick. I think I do like this, but I think I need to experiment more with the lotion I use underneath my skin and also the primer. I need something that's gonna fill up all these pores and just make my skin look more like dewy. This Pacifica palette was a no for me. I think I'm actually gonna go return this to Target and get the Honest Beauty palette and try that one out instead because the, it's, there's like, it's just, no, there's nothing to me. I don't know, I don't like it. The Burt's Bees blush, I did like. This one I liked, I'm keeping this for sure. This Han bronzer too, like, I, it, you can't really see it on my skin, you guys. I think I might have to return it. 
I did try also the Burt's Bees mascara. So I use this mascara. It was just like a little clumpy and sticky. I'm trying to compare it to my Too Faced Better Than Sex and honestly, it's just not comparable. I mean, it works, it's a mascara. I think it's good for like an everyday mascara. Like if you're gonna use it just like all alone, probably not. This I've already used before, the Tarte glue, um, eyelash glue. I love this stuff. Like it's not like a watery. I've noticed that with some of the duo glues, they can be like, they tend to be a little watery and kind of like drip on my lashes. This one is like thick enough to where wherever you put it, it just stays there. And then this ColourPop, we'll see how it lasts through the night. I'm going out for drinks tonight. Normally when I wear my Sephora liquid lipstick, I do not need to retouch or if I do, it's like very minimal. So we'll see how this lasts. Oh, the perfume. So I did use this scent, it's called Capri. I mean, it smells fresh, you know? It's supposed to be like a citrus scent. I mean, honestly, this smells like, to me, it kind of, it has like that high-end scent. It doesn't smell like a cheap, like body spray to me. It smells like a perfume. I mean, it's not terrible. Also, you guys, I forgot to mention. So this is not a new product. It's actually rated a three, which is not too bad. I think it's, that still might be considered green. Maybe, maybe not, not sure. But this is the MAC Prep and Prime Transparent Finishing Powder. I've had this for a while, you guys, and not used it. It's it's not doesn't have that bad of a rating for um you know a product that i've already had if you guys stuck through to the end thank you for watching this is a process for me i will be continuing to try new makeup um cleaner makeup less toxic makeup so if that's something you guys are interested make sure that you subscribe and thank y'all for watching this is a close-up of the final look uh, it's really cakey and gathering uh, all around this part of my face. You can see like my lap lines. Yeah, it's my cheeks don't look too bad, but it's just it's just everything's gathering. Oh, you can see it right there. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to give this foundation another try. I am going to make sure I moisturize my face and like prime my face a lot better. And then I'm going to try it again. Um, but I really, I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be good. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. You guys stay tuned. Uh, I will try that foundation again. We'll be trying a new um, eyeshadow palette though because this one is just not doing it for me. But I ain't got time for that right now. I'm not about to fix my makeup because I'm going to a bar and it's going to be dark in there and nobody's going to see it. And I need to get some drinks. So, Bye guys.